So today we are going to discuss about the transportation of materials in plants. As we all know that even plants need food to grow and even they carry out so many functions and even they carry out photosynthesis also. But they need uh, to be, they need the water also. Water is also a major necessity of plants. So from where they just take in the water? What is the organ from which they take in the water? Plants usually they take up the water from? Soil. Soil with the help of? Uh, root. The help. root. Uh, yes, roots. Root. So roots help them and uh, they play a major role in providing the nutrients and minerals from the soil to the different parts. They supply this uh, minerals and uh, water minerals from water these minerals have been carried out through the roots into the plant with the help of stems so how this transportation how they carry out how they transport this minerals from the water to the different parts of the plant we'll discuss today so there are different parts in the plant also like you have uh, you just drink the water so you you just fulfill your thirst so do you uh, you probably have learned about how the process takes place how the process of digestion mm -hmm. and uh, how the process of uh, different absorption of mineral that carries out where what are the organs which help us to do all these things we know that but even in the plants there are different parts through which this process of transportation and absorption of different minerals takes place. So we'll discuss today, what are those plants and how is this transportation of water and minerals is carried out. So usually the roots play a major role in absorption of water and minerals from the soil. This is known as uh, sap. The sap is drawn upward by conducting tissues known as xylem. Xylem is a vesicular tissue that transports water and minerals to the plant. I want you all to underline it. Underline the second point. Uh, sorry, first, second. First, second, third point. Almost all the points are important at this. I want you all to underline each and every point. Total, how many points are there? Five. I want you all to underline all the five points because they are very important. Even they are going to continue in your higher grades also, in your higher classes also. You're going to learn in detail about all these in your higher classes. So there's a, only a little bit of it, information has been given for you here. So underline it and uh, please inform me if you have finished it. Finished your underlining? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so uh, what xylem is xylem is a vascular tissue that transports water i just want to show you the picture here it is so this one is the xylem and it is the phloem so the transport takes place i just want to show it to you uh, this one you can see the roots here this arrow mark is showing from the roots the water is being observed up and it is being transferred to each and every part so it's only a little bit of part it's been explained to you but in detail if you go there's a very complex way uh, there are so many parts inside a plant even in the stem and even in the roots also so here only the xylem and phloem has been uh, explained um, told to you so what are the parts and how the process takes place so here xylem acts as a pipeline carrying the sap upward Sap is nothing but the uh, water which is drawn up, water which has been conducting, uh, which has been carried out to the different parts of the plant. Xylem form acts like a pipeline. So it carries the water and different uh, minerals from the ground uh, with the help of gravitational, uh, sorry, against the gravitational pull of the earth so against the gravitational pull it moves it carries the water upward to the leaves and stem so the xylem forms a network connecting the roots to the leaves through the stem and branches 
it forms a large network xylem forms a network connecting the roots to the leaves because roots are underground and leaves they are up exposed to air so there is a large area large gap from the roots the water has to be drawn up to the leaves another tissue which is involved in the transport of food material in a plant is phloem so this was about xylem i want to show you about xylem a video so that will be clear to you Transportation in Plants In the previous section, we have learned about transportation in human beings. Now, let us learn transportation in plants. As we have discussed earlier, plants prepare their own food using simple compound inorganic sources such as CO2, water, along with some raw materials and photosynthesize energy in the presence of sunlight and stored in the chlorophyll of leaves. The plants require raw materials like soil, nitrogen, phosphorus and other minerals to build their bodies. The plants absorb raw materials from soil with the help of roots which are in contact with the soil. If distance between soil, root and chlorophyll is small, energy needed is less and raw materials can easily diffuse into all parts of plant body. If distance between soil, root and chlorophyll is large, it needs much energy and raw materials cannot diffuse easily. In such cases, a proper system of transportation is essential. Example, tall trees. The energy requirement for transportation also varies according to plant structure. As plants do not move and plant bodies have large dead cells in many tissue, as a result, plants have low energy needs and use slow transport system. In case of tall plants, distance over transport system is large. Why do plants need a transport system? Plants need water, mineral salts and raw materials for photosynthesis in order to survive. The water and mineral salts from soil is transported into plants through roots. These can only be transported through the water carrying tubes in the stem also known as xylem. Products of photosynthesis prepared in the leaves are to be transported to the other parts of plants. This can only be transported by the food carrying tubes, also known as phloem. Transport of water. In xylem, tissue. Yes, children. I'll just wait this. I'll just uh, stop this video here because Kundana can't be able to hear it since. I'll admit her once again and I'll check whether she can hear or not because she'll be losing it. Uh, I mean, she can't be able to watch this video. Yes, Kundana, join fast. Vessels and tracheids are the two types of transport tissue in plants. Ma'am, you do stop the recording. Both vessels I and tracheids consist of thick cell walls. Tracheids are single cell shorter in length. Okay whereas vessels are several celled and much longer than tracheids. In xylem, vessels and tracheids of root stem and leaves are interconnected to facilitate continuous water conduction system to all parts of plant. The water transport upwards against force of gravity with the help of xylem vessels. In the movement of water, upwards plants have two types of strategies. Absorption of water. As the xylem vessels, cells of root are in contact with soil, 
it actively absorbs the water ions. When root is contact with the soil, soil has more concentration of water and root has less concentration obviously. A difference in concentration of ions is present in between the root and soil. To balance the difference in water ions between root and soil, water moves into root, which means a steadily or continuous movement of water into xylem of roots, which creates column of water steadily pushing upwards. In xylem, the flow of water is bulk flow, and negative pressure facilitates movement of water and minerals into roots. Transpiration of water. Transpiration is nothing but of evaporation of water molecules.